welcome to alchemist academy today we are going to discuss a topic which is motion in one dimension specifically within motion in one dimension i am going to discuss motion under constant acceleration that is under gravity so let's go to today's topic okay we'll consider a relevant day to day example let's say you and your friend are working in a office and let's say it's time to leave for home okay in rush by mistake you pick up the keys of your friend and only you realize it when you reach the floor okay now one way to sort this thing is to go all the way back to the second floor which will take time and energy okay an easier way is to just call your friend in the balcony and ask him to throw you a keys and you have to do the same you have to throw his keys upwards so it's a relevant problem so what is our problem here i have an object and i want to throw it at some height h okay now we'll see a simulation a real time simulation to see how it exactly goes okay so here i have a projectile or any object which will be thrown at a particular height h let's see how it behaves as you can see the object basically moves upwards and it travels down back and while it is traveling also look at its speed okay, the speed is also changing initially the speed is faster it becomes slow it stops at a particular point and then it again falls down okay so we are trying to explore the same in our case so here what i want to do is i have this keys or this object and i want to throw it upwards so i have to throw it with some speed i need to throw it with some speed let's say that speed is v not okay if the speed is very low the object will never reach our desired place it will stop here earlier if i throw it with a very high speed it will cross my destination okay so there is a sweet speed or there is a particular speed with which i throw it okay it will exactly reach my friend's hand and then we can catch it so the goal of today's lecture is to exactly find that particular speed to explore this problem we will require tools okay now in physics the tools are equations so what tools i require is this basic tool so as you can see this is a equation okay i know you all hate equations but these are our basic tools in physics okay so this is an equation which relates velocity after traveling a distance s with my initial velocity and acceleration okay now i will quickly revise whatever terms are present in this equation so that you can follow me along when i use it to find the speed so i quickly revise the things okay i hope you remember from last time what was velocity what was velocity velocity is how fast something moves in a given direction so velocity is nothing but speed with a given direction now i have considered two objects here so let me consider one object it's moving with a speed of 2 meters per second in the upward direction okay so i can write velocity is 2 meters per second upwards or instead of writing this word upwards i can use a sign okay i can use the velocity is plus 2 meters per second it is understood that if the velocity is having a plus sign that the object is moving upwards okay let me come back to this object i have an object which is coming down with a speed of 2 meters per second so how will i specify its velocity its velocity is given as 2 meters per second i have to specify the direction downwards or instead of writing the word downwards i can again choose to use a sign i choose plus for upwards that means i have to choose minus for downwards okay so this was about velocity i hope you have got got a grasp of what velocity is it's just speed with direction now the second term in this equation was acceleration right now what is acceleration acceleration is how fast your speed is changing now you are used to acceleration while driving a vehicle if you accelerate your vehicle your speed changes and so does earth right if i drop a object if i leave a object you must have seen that the speed of the object increases now so earth also accelerates anything which is freely left under its action okay so coming to acceleration acceleration is how fast the velocity is changing so let's say i have an acceleration of 10 meters per second and it's pointing in the downward direction 
as i told you i can also write acceleration as minus 10 meters per second square because what is the direction right now downwards okay so what does it mean it means if the acceleration is 10 meters per second square at time t equal to 0 seconds my velocity let's say is 0 after 1 second my velocity will increase from 0 to 10 okay after one more second my velocity will increase from 10 to 20 that is the meaning of acceleration so acceleration tells us how fast the speed is changing or how fast the velocity is changing okay now coming back to this equation here i have two velocities i have an acceleration and i have this displacement okay now how do equations work in equations i have few terms for example here how many terms i have 1 2 3 and 4 this two is a constant so in this equation i have four terms if i know three of these terms i can use this equation to solve for the fourth term okay now let's go back to the simulation if i go back to the simulation if you observe it carefully the speed depends on the distance right look again initially the speed is faster at this point the speed becomes zero again it starts decreasing so i can say that my speed depends on the distance okay watch it again initially the speed is faster it slows down then again it becomes faster so at this particular point my speed is a different value at this particular point my speed is a different value now coming back to this equation what is our aim our aim was to find out with what speed i must throw this object so that it reaches a particular height okay so let's go to that problem okay i have an object i want to throw it with speed v not such that it reaches height h which is the tool i told you will require will require this equation v not sorry v is v not plus 2 times a to s okay now i want to throw the object in such a way that the maximum height is h what happens at the maximum height at the maximum height the object stops so what do you think will be the velocity at the maximum height what do you think will be the velocity it will be zero right because the object stops at that point so i can use this equation to find with what speed i should throw it okay so i'll tell you this is speed if i consider at highest point here if i substitute the distance as h because i want my distance to be h okay this is the speed which we want to find out okay now what did i tell you at the highest point my speed becomes zero okay i throw it with v not square okay now when it comes to acceleration acceleration right now is only the acceleration produced by a and keep in mind acceleration due to earth we have a value assigned to it which is called as g which is 9.8 meters per second square and this acceleration due to gravity this acceleration is called as acceleration due to gravity always points downwards okay i have to use both these things here so my acceleration is g which is 9.8 meters per second square and it is pointing downwards so i'll use both this fact because it's pointing downwards i'll use a minus sign and what is the distance i want my object to travel i want it to travel a distance of h now i can rearrange this see what is my equation now v not square minus 2gh okay i'll rearrange this okay that means i'll bring it to this side so what happens 2gh becomes v not okay so i'll copy that equation to my next page what was my equation 2gh is equal to v not square therefore if i take root on both sides yes okay so what does this expression tell us this expression tells us if i want my object to travel a distance h i should throw it with this much speed if my speed is less than v not 
my object will not be able to travel distance at. It will stop earlier. If my speed is greater than this v0, my object will exceed that distance h. So just now we have seen with what speed I must throw an object so that it reaches this height h. Okay. So we have just seen this problem. If I want an object to reach a height h, I should throw it with the speed of root 2 gh. Now the next obvious question which can come to your mind is how much time it will take for the object to go from the floor to that height. Okay? Now if you look at my first tool, what was my first tool? My first tool was an equation which was v square is v0 square plus 2 times a into s. There is no time present in this equation. So this tool will no longer be of help to us. So if I want to solve a problem which asks how much time it takes for the object to go from the floor to the height h, this will not be of help. I need one more equation or I will need a different tool now. Okay. So let's explore that tool. Okay. The equation which will help us is this given equation. Now how many terms it contains? It only contains 4 terms. What does this equation relate? It relates velocity after time t, it relates initial velocity, it relates acceleration and it relates time. So suppose I know what is this velocity, I know what is this term and I know what is acceleration. I can use it to find time, correct? How will I write time from this? Time is V minus V0 divided by A. So in order to calculate time, I need to know all the Velocities. Okay. So let's, instead of talking in abstract terms, let's go to a problem which was asked in JE means, which exactly revolves around this problem. Okay. So let's go to that problem. Okay. As you can see from the problem, okay, I have a ball which is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 150 meters per second. Okay. So let's try to write whatever a data is given initial velocity of 150 meters per second. What does it mean? V0 is 150 meters. The ratio of the velocity after 3 second and 5 second is x plus 1 divided by x. So what they have told us? The ratio of velocity after 3 seconds divided by ratio of velocity after 5 seconds. This is given as x plus 1 divided by x. Then they have asked us what is x? So this involves time. Okay? So I need to use my other equation. What was that equation? Come back. V is V0 plus A times T. And as in all of our problems, what is my acceleration? My acceleration here is minus G. G is 9.8. The acceleration due to gravity is constant. And this minus sign is because the acceleration is downwards. Now, look at this term V3. What is this V3? That is velocity after 3 seconds. That means in this equation, I should substitute time as 3 seconds. Okay. So let me plug everything I know in my first equation. V0 is how much? 1. A, I have to in include a minus sign. Now instead of using 9.8, in my problem, they have asked us to approximate G to 10. So I will consider G as 10 into t. This is how much? 3. So if I solve this, what do I get? 150 minus 30, which is 120. Let's say this is my first equation. Okay. Then what else is given in my problem? Something about velocity at 5 seconds is also given. So let me do that as well. V5 is V0 plus A times a. What is my V0? My V0 is 150. My acceleration is minus 10. Correct? And what is my time now? 5. If I simplify this, what do I get? 150 minus 50. I get 100. Let's say this is my second equation. Okay? Now focus. What was my first equation? V3 was 120. And what is my second equation? V5 is 150. So I'll write them together here again. V3 was 120 
and my b pi was 100. Okay. Now what data they have given in the problem? They have given this ratio. V3 divided by V pi is given as x plus 1 divided by x. Okay. So if I divide both of them, V3 divided by V pi, this is given as x plus 1 divided by x. And if I divide the right hand sides here, I know it is 120 divided by 100. Okay. Now I can solve this set of equations. I get x plus 1 divided by x is equal to I can try to cancel whatever is cancelling I can cancel this 0 first and I can use 2 6 2 into 5 okay. so what do I get 6 divided by 5 now how do I solve this I have to cross multiply right? I should multiply this towards this side I should take it to the other side if I do that simplification, what do I get? 5 times x plus 5 okay, is equal to 6 times x. I can shift this x to the other side. If I shift x to the other side, here it's positive. This will become negative. I get 5 is equal to 6x minus 5x. Therefore, 5 is equal to x. So what value of x did we get? x is 5. Now let's go back to the option. Is that option present here? Yes. That's option C. That's for our today's session. Comment down how you found it. Let's see you in the next one.